Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition featuring the Festering Skies DLC. And we made it here to help out the Disciples of Anu with the defense here. Let's just get on in there and get this thing going. Let's see who we've got to take in. Looks like it'll be, what, a team of... Could be a team of seven, perhaps. Well, let's just go find out. It is a nighttime mission. Uh, we just missed the daytime. Uh, who do we have? Yep, it is seven out of eight if we take everybody. So let's just make sure we're all equipped as best as possible. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll dip a, a point in there just to give you an extra shot of will, Jill Valentine. And uh, there's no real other weapon that makes sense to give to you right now. Uh, Citizen Eileen, are we going down the... Yes, we are going in order, so we'll continue going in order. I always got to check when it switches ships, you know. Sometimes the game will play tricks on you, but not this time. We're going to uh, not use any SP, just so maybe we can improve your speed, Citizen Eileen. Otherwise, you're good. Looks like mostly everybody's going to be pretty ready to go out on this mission. Uh, I'm going to find out... Um, I'm thinking, Neo, maybe we can give you an extra shot of these. Yes, so it, it only weighs one for the encumbrance, so we definitely can get some backup. We don't quite have the ability, and I'm not going to dip into the pool so you can shoot multiples, but uh, you can shoot quite a few spider drones for us, potentially, to help us out. Kyle, Reese, you're good. And uh, Tony Stark, we can probably squeeze in. I'm going to squeeze in another bit of Will to help us out with our boom blast that we don't quite have, but will have soon. So we're going to get ready for it, building up our Will. And finally, it looks like we got, I don't know if it's finally, but we got Mad Max up here. And we're going to leave it just like that. Oh, Nathral Necro. Good. We have you with the lasers here. Uh, and we're actually going to give you one spot. Uh, we'll, we'll go with the speed just to get your mobility up, at least until you're able to do some remote deployment and spend your excess SP that way. Now we've reached to the end. Let's get down there. All items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered. All right. Oh, look at that. We got a Scylla on this map. We have a freaking Scylla friend on this map. Um, we have to save structures. They're probably, uh, you know, right now with a Scylla on the map, if they want to destroy all the structures, I'm fine with that. We got our hands full. <laughs> Fortunately, between us and the Scylla is a Disciples of Anu assault that hopefully will draw the big guy's attention question becomes we see nothing else so we really don't know what else we're up against which is a bit of a pain and uh, is he turned in any favorable direction to us what we got to do who do we have they can provide some shredding I don't think we have a lot of shredding options there's one and can right from where you are Kyle Reese do you have a shot? You know, not really. Uh, we can try pumping whatever we can to hit into that abdomen to start stripping some armor. That's probably our best. With this particular team, I don't think we have Rage Burst. I don't think we have Marked for Death. I don't think we have any of those kinds of things that could possibly okay. help us out. Uh-huh. I have turrets. <laughs> I have turrets. Um, I'm here. So we're just going to, right off the bat, see if this first shot... There's, there's trees, stuff in the way, but not, not as many full branches. I think we can mostly shoot through that purpley spindly stuff 
I'm going to focus. I can see the outer edge of the, the abdomen. I'm going to focus right here and try to do some shredding. Did we? Oh, we hit something because we got him to spit and fart out his stuff. Let's go see. Info wise, abdomen. Yeah, we did not really do enough shredding to make it worthwhile, did we now? Uh, I think I do want to heal you now since you're Leave not close me, enough to do any significant shredding. I'm thinking of Let's this. What I'm we can thinking do. of setting down, since he's going to more than likely be moving our way, I think we're just going to go ahead right away and set down a turret right here. Well, I think it's either here, so to the side of us. And uh, since we can see him from there, the turret, it's because of that, 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 that one, the tree's probably in the way for us to get a, to, to get a great shot this turn. So I'm not going to do anything more with the turret. What I will do is uh, get our next turret up and ready just in case we have the opportunity to use it. And then uh, take a shot. Eyes peeled. I mean, it is a laser weapon after all. Let's see if we can hit with it. Not much. Even, uh, even the guy being that big, we still can't hit him. Can't really use this weapon so much. Well, it pierces 30. Can we hit the abdomen? Maybe. Come get we're gonna some. try. Yeah, we're just gonna to, anything to, to to get it to to slow down a little bit. Finger on the trigger. Come on, let's get it. Let's get let's get in there. Think positive here. There's a lot of crap in the way. Just ready to engage. I think we're 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 not doing so well. It's hard to see through this freaking tree. Okay, so we we hit one out of four. Oh well. Better times are coming. Better times are coming. <laughs> How's that for positive thinking? What have we got? I think we have one more Ready. over here. Yeah, I'm thinking about using you. And this is what I'm thinking. Um, oh, yeah. That guy's out of range. But what we do have to do is be aware that there's probably other enemies out on the map. And uh, I'm going to just to kind of at least give us some ideas. I, mean, I, I want to get some spider drones out here in various directions so we aren't blindsided and surprised while all our focus is on the big guy. So uh, let, let's, let's hope that will work for us. Uh, Tony Stark. Wouldn't be a bad idea maybe to start jumping you over here to maybe be able to war cry and your jumping ability is slightly hampered unless i can make you take a step heading out try jumping again it's kind of hoping to be able to get you in behind this wall a little bit as protection against him taking action we'll try that and hope it's Moving good enough uh, because if we can get some war cries on the guy while the rest of us then next turn hopefully get better shots against him, maybe that will help us out. Uh, we're going to come over here. Mad Max. That, that would, would appear to be a good shot. Not much damage yet. But yeah. since we have nothing else to shoot at for the moment... And we're going to forego the pistols. Well, you know what? 
Uh, let's do pistols and some random... Uh, let's hope we don't get jumped by unknown Pandoran kind of range out there. They're not getting past me. Jill Valentine, you don't see anything. Uh, let's pop you here I'll for right a there. try. Ready to rock. It's mostly carapace stuff. Not really interested in that kind of a shot. I'm just gonna bring you here Proceeding. and overwatch. We don't really see anything at the moment. Let's let's overwatch against him coming up against us. More than uh, we might suspect. And I guess, well, we've rolled the dice and we're gonna live with the results. news is some of us are good in place hmm there's some enemies oh he's going for the facilities thank you Seeing some enemies here and there. Oh, the Myrmidon. It's not helping things out. Oh no, holy smokes. I wish that thing could have exploded. Uh, well, we, ha we we sure as heck do have an abdomen. You know, he, he presented for us, did he not? He definitely presented. Let's see if we can get some shredding in uh, with uh, such a presentation. Wiggle that rear end out there. There we go. I like that a little better. Right here. So we're stripping the abdomen. I want to see uh, exactly how stripped it is. Down to 14. At least uh, gives us better opportunities to uh, puncture the sucker now. Now there is somewhere in here a mind fragger. We don't see it at the moment, but we are going to war cry. And uh, see about puncturing some poison in there if we can. That's where Rage Burst is nice to get uh, a little more poison into uh, a creature like this. Now, I don't think the lasers, unfortunately, pierce a whole hell of a lot. But let's see what the shot is. It's not a bad shot. I don't really have anything else that pierces. Uh, I have, uh, I mean, uh, shreds. I have stuff that pierces, but I don't really have stuff that shreds. Uh, what are you looking at? You got a little bit of acid. Um, your health will survive. Um, I'm a little worried about our friends over here, though. And I may have to, with our snipers, go for some different targets here. Eyes peeled. And we got at least a uh, good chance on one of them, so let's quick aim and take that chance. These guys could hurt us. No mercy. I don't need them exploding in our midst. Can't 
can't wait. Neil, you're stuck. Nobody else really sees that other Myrmidon now, does it? He's going for this stuff, I hope. Um, so really, I, I've got to try shooting another, another one of these over here to distract this guy. Is what I've got to do. And uh, we do have this guy in sight. I'm thinking uh, I'm just going to shoot a second one over there. Well, we can't. We won't be able to this turn. Uh, so what do you get to see with a quick aim? You don't even see the Scylla there. So we will reload. Switching. And... Uh, Probably too far away there for a pistol shot, I'm guessing. Eyes peeled. Neo, you're done. Citizen Eileen. You have four shots left. I think we're going to go for paralyzing shots with you now that he's closer. Hopefully that tree is not in the way. Let's find out. We have a much better chance to hit now. Just don't hit the tree. Enemy hit. Targeting. Obviously, we're not going to paralyze the guy, but we, we hopefully, between Warcry and this, we're going to keep him from doing too much to us. Kind of what I'm hoping. Kind of what I'm hoping. Uh, Jill Valentine. It's probably in your best interest to work on this guy for us. At least with one of your shots. Let's try it. Okay, so we'll go back to the other shot. <laughs> Nathral. Uh, we're going for a little uh, remote control. I think that'll help us the best. One more time, my friend. One more time. Well, I guess I can't. Let's get a better angle on the turret. Okay, I, I do have it picked. Uh, open your eyes, zigzag. You had it picked all along. Um, well... Spider drone can move up here and see if we can run its overwatch. Yeah, we did. Uh-oh, there's more overwatch to run. And we ran it. Can I can I kind of hurt both of them at the same time? We'll find out. I for sure can explode on one. Yeah, just one. Oh, I got them both. I think I'd like to see if we have any pistols to overwatch. Your pistol's out of ammo, so we will not be pistolizing. We've got all the, we've got all the peer, all the the paralyzation we're going to be able to get on him this turn. Uh, so anybody else got a pistol? Here, a pistol. There, a pistol. Let's overwatch with a pistol. Because there's a, a loose mind fragger in that mist, also. If uh, memory serves me. And let's hope 
this guy goes for the drone. Shoot the minefragger. Yeah. Uh oh, there's another one. Maybe. Oh no. I think he shot the the minefragger, and the body just got flung across the room. Is what happened. More goo. Not good for, um, not good for our heavy's will now that he's in the mist. We'll have to check his will. Yeah. Well, that just will help. So we took some shots. Thank you. He'll probably take it out because he can chomp it twice, right? So that helped us. Help keep some acid off of us. Going for the structure. Thank you. Sorry, Disciples of Honor. Oh, no! He didn't totally go for the structures. That sounded like a Myrmidon, didn't it? Uh, we, we, we may not save any structures, my friends. <laughs> Smokes. Okay, let's let's evaluate where we're sitting right now. That extra shot of goo sure didn't help us. At least uh, acid-wise damage, it'll hurt our armor, but it won't uh, really take off any more health, I don't think. Uh, just the initial whack of getting that on us hurt us now will at this point is there we're gonna keep taking i gotta do my war cry here just to limit this guy he was still able to do a lot given the paralysis and the war cry and uh he's got a tiny bit on the abdomen and if memory serves let, let, let's just double check that Okay, he essentially has no armor on the abdomen, so we still got to focus on the abdomen. I'm going to punk, puncture some more poison in there with your big weapon. And we're going to have you stand in the mist. So hopefully, uh, please don't panic on us next turn. I, I can't remember how much will the mist takes away each turn, but let's hope it's not too much. Uh, does our turret have sight? Sure as heck does. And guess what? We don't have to worry about any more freaking mind fraggers. And what we're going to continue doing is, I think, your health is okay to hang in there a little more. We're just going to remote control and keep pumping this guy full of... Uh, lasers. Why don't you spin back for us a little bit? Thank you. Oh no, I didn't do... I was going to do remote control and it popped back to you instead of the turret. So let's just do our one more laser shot. I was going to go, wait, that wasn't the laser. Spin back. There we go. So going, wait, that laser turret does a hell of a lot more damage than the, the laser PDW. Would have been nice to have been able to shoot twice. 
with the weapon we wanted to use. Now your will is fine. We're going to quick aim twice. Probably not going to quite kill the damn thing. Is the way it's feeling right now. Because we don't have that little extra oomph, that rage burst, that mark for death to allow us to do this. Oh, gonna be, oh well, then again. No, we, we, oh, man. And he's too close to the edge. I think he'll be able to scamper out of here, maybe. Let's hope uh, Anu can maybe blast into the abdomen and, and ignore the mind fragger that's out there. And uh, help us that way. And, and that would be nice to take out a Scylla. Wouldn't it now? Um, let's see. This guy's a little close. We also have uh, these two over here. Well, you got a sh you you took a shot What's that mode? from one of them, so I'm gonna see if you can't return the favor. You got will. Is he not quite? Ble now he's bleeding enough. What do you know? What would be nice is if we could get some more shots on it. But he's kind of out of sight. And uh, since you're stuck where you are, Kyle Reese, uh, do you have a shot on that old, that old abdomen of... Uh, ooh, that's that guy. I think I have somebody else to shoot against him. Is it possible you can get enough, enough damage over there? Oh, we're pretty damn close. Let him turn. There we go. Got it. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. So, I'm thinking uh, we're going to throw out a, a spider drone because there's this. more than one guy over here. So, let him worry about that. And then uh, let's see if you can finish this other guy off with a quick game. That's good. Myrmidon scares me. Mindfragger scares me to jump on this guy. But now that this is dead, maybe he'll be able to find the Mindfragger and kill him like he did the other one. Um... Now we get, we're stuck in the open in some of this goo. That's that's bad news. What have you got left? We're gonna have to have you Overwatch against Myrmidon coming around the corner. Jill Valentine, I think we're gonna have to have you maybe. Where it would be the best position for you? I mean, this guy is not quite close enough to do a lot at us. I'm almost feeling like I want to have you come over here and do this. Advancing. Um, the Myrmidon could come through the interior. There's also that possibility. Eh? No, not from that angle. So we got him covered on the side. Let's let's. I, I want some more potential protection against the Myrmidon. Because it's, it's a scary variety. It's, it's, it's got acid, and, and we don't need to take full-on acid hit against some of our armor and then have that go against our health. So cross your fingers, guys. Cross those fingers hard. Maybe even your toes. Well, I guess he doesn't see the mine, Frager. Remember... Well, he heard us. He, he ignored the spider drone. 
That's a smart Arthron. Oof. Do we have somebody close enough to be able to help him out? I don't know. Because we don't need to be shot at with that weapon. I think they've they've got to be uh, over fifty percent. Uh... Good. I don't think he can bite us now. We took out the torso, and we just killed him. So that Overwatch paid off. Okay, it is our turn now. Let's see what we can do. Uh, Mad Max. We have quick aim. We have two quick aims. You should be able to take him out. We don't need any uh, paralyzing stuff from a poacher. No, we do not. Um. <laughs> Except uh, I think if we... Well, maybe he'll lean out some more. Come on, lean out. Nope. I think he, he, he has the, the, the bad torso that I don't want to just hit him like that and have him disappear. Yeah, pain chameleon. So what we're going to have to do is uh, we're, we're just going to come close and take out that pain chameleon. It's there. It's there. We took gotcha. it out. <laughs> Whew, that was an that was a piece of work. I'm telling you. Uh, I think I'm gonna do the just so I don't have to worry about anybody else over in your direction. We got this guy here. We'll come back to you. How about that? Neo. Aiming. Oh, you can help us with that guy if we need it. Uh, let's go for the uh, machine gunno right here. Target hit. Got it. No return fire. Now we can go for. Yeah, we we he needs another shot on his body. So will this be ready to it? engage? We might as well do the final pistol shot over here. It's not going to be a great shot. But we hit! <laughs> and he's bleeding now. We can ignore the guy now. Uh, what we can do is a pistol overwatch for you against what I'm guessing is a Myrmidon in there. Still, we've got a Myrmidon somewhere out there that can hurt us. So I'll we'll just do this. Open. Citizen Eileen, uh, do you have a med kit? It's time to, to get you healed. Just need to catch my breath. How's your health looking, Nathral? Uh, I am thinking it is time to get you also healed. There we go. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of visual or enemies within vision uh, we have to worry about our heavy though and we have no ammo there you don't see and I don't necessarily want to shoot at his head with that weapon so there's got to be somebody over here we can get in position unfortunately it's probably going to be with a sniper weapon 
Sure is. And so that means we're 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 gonna have to hurt you over here, Tony Stark. But you know, if it means getting that damn thing off your head, uh, I think we'll do the quick game in case I, I I get unlucky and we have to follow up with a pistol. Taking aim. Oh, that's gonna hurt your head. Yeah, but better than the way you were. <laughs> By far, better than the way you were. Uh, now we have this guy that's going to die on us. So the Anu will be no longer protection over there. So we better overwatch against his approach against us here. You don't have, uh, you know, too bad this thing can't overwatch. You could overwatch if... Uh, we don't have somebody in your line of sight. Not really. So if I go like this, odds are you're going to hit us in the back. So we'll just set it out here just in case. You never know. You're out of ammo for your pistol. Kyle Reese, you're stuck. He's going to die. And you're in the way if I try to overwatch over here also. We've got a pistol. We'll try another pistol here. I'm on Overwatch. And uh, we're running out of options. We got a spider drone. Uh, it seems like we cleared that side, so let's send the Spidey over this way in case he can help us. Fortunately, he's going for Anu instead of us. You know, we knew you were going to panic. We had a pretty good idea standing in the mist like that just after having a mind fragger on you. Most people would panic. Now, I didn't get a good sense on where this guy that was over here went. I don't like the idea of you bleeding in the middle of who knows where. I don't really have anybody in a good, good range to, to help you out. I'm going to come over here, see if we can gain sight of whoever was down here, and maybe set some overwatch. Enemy contact. Well, we, we found him, but he's also panicked. How cool is that? So let's just come up close, since he's panicked. So we're at least in the range of our, our guy over here, and we can help him so he doesn't get shot, so he can run towards us, and we might be able to heal him. So there, long, long roundabout explanation. But we might just squeak out of this mission with no deaths. And the way yeah, we went into this, without a lot of special abilities against uh, a Scylla, man, that's, that's a result I'll take. Oh, that's his pistol. No wonder I'm going... There's got, I can't believe we're not getting more damage. <laughs> Let's take away... Acid launcher, arm, a pincer. Well, he's going to panic anyway. Let's get rid of the pincer. That goo is pretty long-lasting, is it not, Citizen Eileen? Uh, let's get over here. See if you can quick aim. No, you don't quite have sight on the guy, and you can't move because we're standing smack dab in the way of you. Yeah. And there is no place we can really go unless, oh, maybe right here, we might have a shot. Moving. Let's hope we can, let's hope we can damage this thing enough so that it can't come back and uh, get pissed work. at us and, and hurt us. Oh, we can only hit the wings. And it's not a good odds to hit the torso, so we're going to try slowing it down. <sighs> and dealing with it that way. Do we have a plan? Yeah, we have a plan. Uh, one more shot with quick aim with a pistol. <laughs> it's not a very good plan, uh, just <laughs> in case you didn't notice. 
lean out. There we go. That helps. Not really. Well, the only good thing is you move first. So maybe you will be able to kill it. One can hope. Neo. Um, where do we have guys out here? This guy's panicked, so we should have him under control. Um, Check this out. We're, we're going to send another Spidey drone over this way to try and... Uh, Keep ourselves safe. Let him stay focused on our spider drone or Anu. That's what I always say. Says Eileen, you can't move. Let's recover Will. Uh, who's up? Kyle, is that you, Reese? Yes. You have max Will. So you're done. You're done. Nathral. Let's get your will back since you're stuck. Let me catch my breath. And Spidey. Which, which, Spidey? Oh, yeah, we sent one over here. We can explode him to hurt the panic guy just a little bit more. He didn't lose his other arm, but he's hurt more. We'll take it. Who's up? Oh, another spider drone. That spider drone's done. That thing's done. And we're all done. Attacking the corruption of Okay. We made it. Uh, heal yourself. Oh, yeah. You should be able to heal yourself, right? Why won't it let us... Oh, it's only your head, right? It's only your head. Oh, you have no actions. <sighs> well, kind of why we brought you over here, Jill. Except you can't get close enough to use a med kit this turn. Well, we need to use a med kit. We're going to get you over there. Dashing to the coordinates. Because moving you over there frees up the line of sight. Oh, we're, we're, we're free hey, of we're the... Gonna... You know what? We're, we're free of it. We're, we're just going to stand you over here and see if we can't kill him. That's good. Thank you, Citizen Eileen. Okay, that's it. Mad Max, you gotta level up. Neo, you gotta. Uh, that that makes me feel a lot better about this mission. It was a toughie. We did not defend very well the structures. Fifty percent of them were destroyed, uh, so that cut down on our SP. Uh, but we will get the the material bonuses, and, and two level ups really helps make me feel better about a really tough mission. With not you know not our best troops either. All right, we needed especially the tech, and we got the tech. And we have revealed the location of their colony. Let's find out. There should be, uh, actually, it's up here, so it's brand new to us. Uh, we knew about some nests over here. Yeah, here and here. Uh, so now we have ourselves a lair uh, to take on. Uh, what I may have to do, though, is... What's, what's this ship? Oh, it's the Elusive. What I may have to do is... Uh, let's see about these ships. Uh, stamina's not bad. The health's not as bad as it seemed like it was. I guess we had a chance to heal some of us. Uh, we, get some, we get our promotions. We get some new research. Pandoran Goo. Let's just move that near the top. It's only a four-hour thing. Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> um, 
So this is what we're going to do. We're going to head right up to this lair. We got uh, everybody else flying around for other things, too. Uh, the personnel, let's get our promotions out of the way. Mad Max. You're up to a good one for a sniper. You got your marksman. It also allows us... Yeah, give us more will. Nice promotion, Mad Max. Uh, Neo. That gives you a weak spot. So disabling a body part also removes the armor. That That's... What am I going to get the most use from? The extra spider drone pack? That's really on this team how I've been using you over sniper because we have enough other snipers. So let's go ahead and pick up the spider drone pack. S surprise attack wouldn't be bad to pick up too. And that, that would... That would you know, help help your damage output when we are able to use your sniper weapon, potentially. Um, let's do that. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can look at um, changing your armor at some point. Uh, there's none in there. Maybe we can try to give you a little more infiltratier armor to take advantage of the surprise attack, too. And uh, also sneak attack. Surprise attack's not big, because uh, it's only shock, but when we get up to sneak attack, we, we want to see about getting you that armor by then to, to keep you hidden. So anyway, I'm going I'm to keep rambling, but let's get, let's get up here and uh, get everybody moving. I would, at some point, like to hire a priest, but I think we're going to knock this lair out first. And there's a potential priest for hire right there. Heck, there's a potential potential priest for hire down here too let's see what this one looks like oh it's not quite constructed it, it got apparently damaged from the attack <laughs> 50 percent of the facilities did so there's no uh, official priest here but there's like a level three or four priest right here we may think about picking up because you know we have no priests on our team right now and i would love to have one uh, so let's just keep flying uh, we're back at our base and okay this is just a waiting game so we can go against these two facilities both the citadel and another Scylla and uh, the lair we had yeah so we're just I think we're just waiting for the Tiamat to get down here he's gonna yeah the Tiamat's gonna go here actually let's do this because we're faster than the Tiamat bring the Tiamat to the base to meet us have you go over and do the trade over here. And where our first ship has made it to the Pandoran Lair. We're over here for some trade. Yeah, we will do the food trade. We definitely have more food to trade. It was an anemic amount as it is with Anu, but you know, we'll take it. We'll fly over here for the rendezvous. And now, let's see if both ships are at the lair yet. Well, they are now. Uh, Haven infested by Pandorans. Where is this? Oh, we flew to that one over here. Well, so I think we still got more ships that need to head over here yet. So uh, we'll hang out there waiting for this mission. So that's not quite the one we wanted. We got so many ships flying to do so many things. There we go. We are at the lair. And we're at what will be our upcoming next mission next time. Uh, Operation Shock and Awe, our Blitzkrieg to get through all these Pandoran bases before the air game comes back to haunt us is uh, still moving forward. Let's see if we can't uh, take some more Pandorum bases out. Next time, a lair. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.